What's up, bro? So today's a sad video. I hope you can see that I'm sad. So, my girlfriend broke up with me today. I wake up in the morning, I text, I, I check Telegram, and I see a message from her. She said a lot of things, but you know how women are, they always say way too much of unnecessary information that is just useless. So basically, she said that she doesn't love me anymore, even though she did like a week ago. So anyway, I had the whole day to think about it. And I actually know what was the reason behind it. In short, that's my fault. But I'll tell you exactly why. So you don't repeat my mistakes or anything or something. So I have anxious attachment style. This is a... Um, like, this is one of, of the four attachment styles. And this is pretty shitty thing, because... Your brain always gives you some stupid thoughts, like... She's cheating. If she's not texting you for one minute, she's cheating. Something like this. And I mean... I learned how to deal with that... And I do, I mean, I, I meditate so I can stop thinking about it, start thinking about something else instead. So that kind of works. Not always though. So in the last couple of weeks, I texted her a lot. Like, I mean, we usually text a lot because this is like a long distance relationships. I actually don't. Okay, I'll tell you my opinion about long distance relationships later. So anyway, I was texting her a lot instead of working, instead of doing things I need to do. And that, like, that was the reason why she did what she did. Women hate when you prioritize them above your goals. But the thing is, I wanted to spend more time with her. And I didn't feel like I'm spending enough time with her. So that's why I texted her more and wanted to talk to her more. You know, I worked today, and so I really had a lot of time to think about it. But on the breaks, I opened the The Way of the Superior Man book. And this is a very this is a very good book. You need to literally remember every law in there as as a Bible. Just just read it as a Bible. Remember everything in there. Because this book is genius. It, it's it's just genius. I reread a lot of things that are related to women in this book. <laughs> and you know what? I broke all the laws, pretty much all the laws in this book. Here's the result. I've read this book before. Completely from the first page to the last page. But it still didn't help me. Well, anyway, you can notice that I'm not. Lo I don't look sad, right? Because I'm not a loser. I'm not planning to just quit. She's a good girl. I know this, and um, I 
did a thing, you know, like you're writing a list of qualities of your ideal perfect 10 out of 10 girl and rate each quality and then you get the final score and then you rate your girl, the real girl, on by this list. And like she got a very, very high score. So she's she's very high quality. She lives in a village. Her parents have a farm. So like she's really like a trad wife. In real life, seriously. And I know her for a long time. I know her for like five years, even though. Yeah, we only talked online, but we, you know, we played stuff together, we watched movies, we talked, obviously we talked, I mean, over the phone, and video calls, and all this, all this stuff. So, I know that I can get her back. Maybe I'm stupid right now, maybe I'm just really stupid and... Um, Maybe I'm wrong, but I, I I believe that I can get her back because she did love me, right? So I just need to act in the same way that uh, got her interested in me. And I know exactly what I did, exactly what I did, because I actually recorded a video about it. You can search on my channel, it's called... My crush confessed to me or something like this. And when when that happened, I was all about my goals. I was focused on my goals. I worked on them every single day. I recorded YouTube videos. That was my main, main thing in life. Not her, not anything else, but my goals. I talked about competing with other people. Literally out competing. I trained every day. I mean, I, tra I still train, but not not as much as back then. But so anyway, in order to get her interested in me again, I just need to act in the same way I acted before. Sounds not as hard, right? Maybe. So we'll see how it works. So now, what about these long-distance relationships? You, you may ask me, what are you, fucking stupid? Why are you engaging in a long-distance relationship? So, first of all, again, I know her for five years. That's a long period of time. Even if you talk, you know, over the internet, texting each other, that's still a very, very long time to learn everything about each other. So... Yeah, I know her since I was 14. That's just crazy. That's a very long time. Second, she's a, again, she's a very high quality girl. Obviously, I wouldn't date some Jessica over the internet. That would be just stupid. And three, we were actually going to meet soon. So, yeah, that sucks. So, what else is there to say? Do I think that on long long distance relationships are stupid? I would say it depends because I don't think these relationships were stupid. She took it seriously, I took it seriously. We planned stuff together. We planned how we will meet. But it is stupid in the in the sense of that it is very, very hard. When you see a person face to face, it's much easier to deal with this person's bullshit. I, but it's not like we had a lot of bullshit. It's just that I acted not masculine enough for her. And she's she's a very feminine girl. And I needed to act more masculine. And that's what I did. That's what got her interested in me. And 
that's what I stopped doing, and that's why I lost her. I mean, that's that's just easy. You know, that would be very bad if I wouldn't be able to get her back. That would be just shitty. You know, like the worst thing about breaking up with people is that you always feel that there is something you can do, but you don't know what. And that is the worst part. That, that's what, that's why it's painful. You feel like you, there is a phrase you can say. There is a thing you can do. There is something that can turn everything to how it was. But you don't know what this is. And I do. That's why I'm not sad or anything. Before I figured this out, yeah, obviously I was sad. But that, that, that was in the morning. So now I feel pretty fine. And um, I'm not going to give up, obviously. I mean, I will not also force her to date me because that would be stupid. And how the hell can I even force her? What I mean, I will not push her for it. If she will, if she will want to, to date me again, that's okay. If she will not, well, that sucks, but that sucks, but that's okay too. That's her decision. You know, she wasn't disrespectful. She wasn't ever disrespectful when she... When that happened. When the breakup happened. Never, ever in a single message. And she didn't say that she doesn't like me. She says she likes me and I'm very good. You know, this usual stuff. You are like a perfect boyfriend, but I don't love you. And I know the exact reason why. Again, I just told you why. Yeah, so I don't know what else to say. So I guess I'll finish here. Thank you for watching. Don't repeat my mistakes. Never repeat my mistakes. Read The Way of the, the, way of the Superior Man. You can download it pretty much everywhere. This is a popular book. And um, don't like a, don't act like a little bitch with your girl. And don't be complacent. Don't be complacent. Because I got complacent. I already got hurt. And why do I pretend to be masculine or something? Why do I act in a certain way? And that's what it that's what it leads to. I mean it's not that you can it's not that you need to pretend to be more masculine. It's that you just need to be more masculine. Not for a girl, but for Everything in life, pretty much. So, yeah, anyway, let's finish here. Thanks for watching. I see you tomorrow.